the IT revolution has transformed the lifestyle of Bangaloreans. In place of gardens, shopping malls have become the new landmarks. Bangalore is in grip of mall fever. Today it seems that malls have been part of city's skyline forever. Proliferation of IT companies has meant high income levels. High wages have translated into unseen consumption levels. The higher disposable income with you know, every individual, um, the middle class segment has grown and it is, um, I mean India does not have enough malls, there is still space for a lot more malls. It was always a requirement but now builders have come in and you know, real estate is booming the same time as the economic growth. So that is one reason why malls are really booming. These malls are not mere shopping centers. They offer a mix of food, entertainment, shopping, theater, hospitality and much more. The experience is exclusive but it comes at a premium. IT companies offer high pay packets and malls ensure that this money is spent in no time. Mall culture is spreading fast in Bangalore. Malls are jam-packed and stores are overfilling with people. Good place like where you can do a lot of shopping and just come on, meet people, have food, have fun, watch movies, drinks, whatever you want. According to a report by Jones Lang Lessel Megraj, over 2 million square feet of mall space already exists in Bangalore and more than 5 million is under construction. Retailers are only too eager to invest in this booming business, while mall owners are trying to reinvent as differentiation is the key to success. They are trying to bring in international brands. The mall haunters are thrilled with the mushrooming of malls in the city. But for mall haters, this on-your-face consumerist culture has added to the existing class disparities. And then there is one more question. Isn't the mall-centric new generation missing on something? For instance, alternative ways of spending time. In Bangalore, with camera person Kuti Raja, this is Karima for Real Estate Television.